Hey, Stone. Hi, this is what I look like okay. in the morning. <laughs> I look like Sonic the Werehog, don't I? Okay, so this is Stone, and um, Stone has Asperger's. He's, he's high-functioning autism. And um, Stone, explain to me a little bit what your life is like. Well, my life, yeah, it's like the uh, roller coasters at Universal, for example. Loads of twists oh, and turns and loop loops. Kind of what my life is like. Okay. So, what is school like for you? School? Well, people there are complete jackasses. Some of them, though. Okay, well, that's not very appropriate talk. So, how about we um, just talk about what your life is like with autism? Well, with autism, there's lots of things I can't do, especially what it looks like right now. Um, I have a very hard time using pencils because they make my ears feel like they're on fire. I have to use special pencils and pens. Okay, so what is it? Is it the sound? Is it the smell? What is sound. it? Sound of the pencil on... Yeah. Do you need a tissue, man? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. So, um... So the sound of the pencils really drives you crazy. So you, um, I mean, mo most people that are watching this video might not, they might not understand what that sound is even like. But if you could just think about, if you're writing with a pencil, the scratchiness, um, the sound, the squeakiness of the pencil really uh, hurts your ears. Well, I, look, for all these on, for all you guys on YouTube watching this, I just want to take an example of what the the pencil sounds like to me on paper. Say, for example, those nasty bugs in Resident Evil 4, after those flying bugs after they kidnap Ashley in the castle. Let's just say that it's they the sound they make, the sounds they make. Those kind of feel like pencils on paper to me. It's just too hard for me to bear. However, Resident Evil 4 doesn't scare me. There's a few jolts though, but that's beside the point. Getting back to the subject at hand, pencil sounds make the just feel like and sound like a nuclear explosion in Shantytown on Madagascar. Okay, thanks for that informative <laughs> um, lesson there. Yeah, because, you know, most people really have no clue what that game is or who those characters are. Uh, lots of people play Resident Evil 4, Mom. In fact, that Game Informer said, Christopher, don't touch Mom. It, the Game Informer said it was destined to be the greatest survival horror of all time. And Chris will grab Mommy's chest. Okay, so... <laughs> So, um, so you're, you, that's, that's how, you, that's how living with autism is like, and listening to pencils. Yes. Okay. And I want to talk about the games I have. Okay. Well, I have a Wii and PlayStation 2, mm -hmm. a PS2 acts like a jackass, but. Stone, I, I've already told you to, to not speak like that, okay? okay. Just, it's just a plain <clears throat> jerk. Okay. It works somewhat. Uh, I want to list all the games I have for my Wii. Okay. Uh, that's, isn't that going to be very long? No, I don't have many Wii games. Okay. See, my favorite Wii game would have to be, uh, well, uh, Kolioko Quest for Infinity. And Richard, if you're watching this, I know you're jealous. Who's Richard? My best friend at school. Oh, okay. He also watches South Park. Well, that's interesting. Uh, this this game I want to get for my Wii is called Mad World. It's about this guy named Jack who 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 has a similar outlook to Sid from Final Fantasy VII. Okay, well, the, the, and my and for I have a lot of games for PlayStation Two, and I'd be just wasting your valuable time if I list them all. I'm gonna only list a couple or my favorite. Okay. My recent one, and this one, this is the best version on, and the PS2 version is the best. Uh, Double Set and Quantum of Solace. Okay. Uh, other versions, it's, it's first-person shooter. You know, you just look through the eyes and you know, shoot, shoot, shoot. But, but it has, but it's over the shoulder, kind of like Resident Evil Four, or Resident Evil Five. Hmm. Speaking of Resident Evil 5, I haven't gotten yet, but I've seen the whole game. I'm impressed by the graphics, but just not scary. 
just like the Arbor said on RB and the Chief, it's when he was watching those repetitive, those repetitive online game reviews, and it's just not scary. So, is uh, do you have a hard time uh, keeping keeping to the task at hand? Do you have a hard time staying on task? Do you have a hard time not thinking about video games? Sometimes, yes. Uh, it's just that my mind, like I said, is a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. it, it just it keeps going, then stops. Keep going, then stops. It's just hard for me to focus on one task. I, I remember, I remember when um, when you were little, you said you said that it felt like your brain was like popcorn, and um, so that was that was pretty good, pretty good analogy there. If that's really how you felt. And I just wanted to talk about Resident Evil 5. Man. But it has flaws. And forever go away. Okay. Well, I'm, we'll get back to you, Stone. And we'll get some more updated information about your games. Um, thanks for giving us your insight on autism. Yes. And, um, cool. Okay. Bye. Oh, ne avoid the, the PSP and PlayStation 2 versions of Web, and Sh of Web of okay. Shadows. It's Thanks. just it's just too Thank you, it's Stone. No fun. We PS2, I mean PlayStation 3, Thanks. Xbox 360, and we Stone. love this.